show today and welcome to my youtube channel right now i'm just putting on my p louise eyeshadow vase in room number five and i'm going to set it using my iheart contour palette by la colors yes i am feeling this look it was fun to create definitely so i think you're gonna love it but i went into the crayon case box of crayons palette to use that pretty tan color and we're going to work that into my crease as a transition shade all right moving along into the matte book by the crayon case and we're going to use these two shadows together it's like a cream then like a pink undertone shade as well and we're going to put that all over my mobile lid i am i love how both of those together look because when i first did the other eye i was saying hmm I was starting off with just the cream and like, nah, it needs something else to make it pop. But now going back into that same palette, I am using that darker brown and we're just going to create the gradient effect of uh, darker shadows. Of course, will be um, on the outer corner of the eye to actually make it all flow together. So I'm just going in circular motions on the outer corner of my eye right now using i believe this is the jh33 uh, brush that morphe and jacqueline hill collab together to create and then i'm slightly placing it in the crease area but for the most part it's staying on the outer v who else is excited for fall i love everything about fall the fashion the makeup the accessories just everything <laughs> but going into that same palette i'm going in with a more medium tone brown and i'm going to place this directly in the crease um i love i love actually how that blend i love this palette it is very great with blending proper shadows but i'm just going back in to redo some things like my mobile lid the outer v and that's what i'm showing you now because sometimes when you put certain shadows on your eye you gotta add more later so because sometimes they take away the shadows that were already there but right now i'm type roping my waterline using my black gel pencil and then i'm going in with this liner i'm not making a wing which i usually do with every eye look but not this time but i went into the box of crayon case to use that black and i'm actually going to use that on top of that gel liner that I just applied and I'm going to actually smoke it out a little bit okay so I'm going to actually go in with that same black shadow and apply it on my outer V and the whole point here is I was smoking it out with my liner with the black shadow going out in my outer corner then putting the black shadow to go closer into my crease area and again going back and adding shadows taking away shadows as you're seeing now because there's no product on this specific brush and just making it all flow together adding some mascara now i have a video that i will have up it may be a bad time you watch this video but i'll have it in the description box if you're interested of how i apply my lashes because i have a new little technique that i use now but i type wrote my bottom lash line and water line with that same liner from earlier and then I just applied the black shadow on top and then that same brown that I put in my crease earlier on the bottom as well. All right, so I did do my foundation routine off camera, but if you're interested in seeing an updated version where I show you what products I do use now, comment below and give this video a thumbs up. So I um, to complete that whole eye look, I added some mascara to my bottom lashes and now I'm putting on my fashion items. So I'm partnered with Astrology Trends, which is a black owned a zodiac and astrology fashion based company and they specialize in jewelry as well as graffitis and hairpins so right now you're seeing my cancer symbol earrings because i am a cancer and this is my cancer necklace as well as this cute cancer shirt i actually have videos up explaining more about astrology trends if you're interested you can click the video and look at the other lookbooks and designs that they specialize in but i do have a discount code you can use and it is anya Chardet 10 you can get a percentage off your order whether you want any of the pieces in this video in the pieces on the website or any of the pieces that are in other videos that i made with astrology trends so definitely check them out and this is the cute zodiac hair pin and again i'm a cancer so it's in cancer and you can definitely use my 
discount code Anya Chardet 10 but that completes this whole look. Stay by my side Come on close